Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning light on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see how we can return some value from a function. Okay, for the demonstration purpose, in this tutorial, we're gonna create a function which is gonna take two parameters, then add the values of that parameters and return that result back to us. Since our function is gonna return some integer value, we're gonna use this int in the return type, then the name of the function is gonna be add then the parameter data types is going to be int comma int now the next thing we have to do is we have to you know uh, define this function it's going to be int add then a pair of curly braces here you're going to write two variables to receive the input it's going to be int a and int b now inside this add a function now we have to calculate this addition of a plus b and we need a variable to store that so for that purpose we're gonna create another variable called uh, int temp for you know saving this temporary result then we're gonna assign this temp equal to a plus b so now this temp variable contains a plus b so now we have to return this temp value back to the caller of this add function so in this case it's gonna be the main function so we can return a value from a function using this return statement return then temp add a semicolon here this return statement returns this control as well as this temp value back to our uh, main function so in the main function uh, we're gonna um, create a variable called result to receive the result returned by this add a function so we're gonna assign that result it's gonna be result equal to now we're gonna call this add function add then the values as the parameters uh, right now we're gonna pass 10 and 20 so the next thing we want to do is we just want to print this uh, result value it's gonna be printf and here I'm gonna write uh, the result is percentage %d then uh, write this result variable here save it compile it and run it okay the result is 30 that's because you know our add of method return this value 30 because it received the value 10 and 20 and then it added that values and returned it back this is it this is how we use this um, return statement to you know return some values from a function the next thing I want to tell you is uh, we can return only one value uh, from a function so we can't write temp comma you know some other variable like um, uh, temp2 or something else if we do that we're gonna get some errors so let me delete that okay another thing I want to tell you is you can use as many return statements in this function but make sure that only one return will be executed you know depending on your logic for example here if this temp value becomes less than a uh, zero or it becomes a minus value then I want to uh, return a zero you know for that we're gonna use a if condition if you're gonna check whether this temp is less than or less than zero so if it is so then we're gonna return zero else we're gonna return this temp values so what we're doing here is this temp value is less than zero or if it is a minus value or negative value then we're gonna return zero and if it is greater than or equal to zero then we're gonna return that actual temp value so just to explain that let me make this second variable to be minus 20 so save it compile it and uh, run it so as you can see here the result is 0 but you know 10 plus of minus 20 is equal to 10 minus 20 and this is gonna be minus 10 so because of this uh, if statement here this temp value is less than 0 we are returning 0 so here when this uh, if statement becomes true this re return statement will be executed and when it becomes false 
this statement will be executed so this is it guys this is about uh, returning some value from a function using this return keyword so thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial